Hey guys, Jen here with Chaos and Grace, and today I'm going to share with you my 2019-2020 curriculum picks for my ninth grader. Now this video is gonna be video number one of three that I'm going to have this week specifically to homeschooling high school. High school is a totally new thing for me. I am not gonna to claim to have all the answers, but I am gonna share with you my experiences and the things I have learned so far. So I will have the first video out today you are watching is Monday. There will be one on Wednesday and one on Friday, so keep an eye out for those. So the very first thing I'm gonna talk about today is language arts. If you have been watching for any length of time, you know that we have been using the good and the beautiful for a while. So this year, The Good and the Beautiful has put out their very first year of high school curriculum, and we are honored to be able to review it for them. So I got this about two weeks ago, and I've been looking through it, and like everything else they do, I'm really excited to get into it. Now there's a lot of parts to the language arts for high school, so I'm gonna show you all the parts. These are the assigned readers that come with the language arts kit. These are all books that I've heard wonderful things about, so I'm excited to see how Wyatt likes them. So we have Up From Slavery, Just David, John Greenleaf Whittier, Patterns on the Wall, and Into the Unknown. So as the kids go through their course books, they'll come across the times when they're supposed to get into these books, so they'll know when they're supposed to be doing it. Now, Wyatt is a very good reader. Reading is something he picked up really easily, and he just devours books. And I've always had a really long book list for him at the beginning of the year. He gets through all of it, and he creates his own book list and goes through all that. So it'll be interesting to see if this is enough. I don't know how it's separated and what the break is in between. Like something this size he can read in a couple days and still get all his other stuff done. But the content is different, so we'll see how he does with that. So here are the course books for high school. There are 10 of these books. Now I'm gonna talk about this in the video that's coming out on Wednesday, and that is the process that I used and am using to prepare for high school. And in that, I talk about Wyatt being recently diagnosed with ADHD. There's more, you gotta watch the other video to get all that information. But something that people with ADHD really struggle with is executive functioning. Your executive functioning skills are pretty much the skills that you use on a day-to-day -day basis to do everything throughout your entire life. And I will talk more about that in the coming video. But with the goals that I have for him with really refining his executive functioning skills, this curriculum is going to be amazing for it. I have no doubt about it. And let me tell you why. I will give him this book and I will say, you have X amount of days to get this done. He is responsible for looking through it, knowing the coursework that he has to do, that he's responsible both short term and long term, and planning that out. Now I'm going to work with him to learn how to do that because that's a skill that is very hard for him at this point in time. So I think this is going to work so well for him and really do him a lot of good in being able to structure himself and organize himself and planning and all of those skills that people that have ADHD really struggle with. The grammar and writing guide is what goes along with the course books. Like everything else, the little booklets that they work in will tell them when to refer to this, when they're gonna work in this. This book gives them a lot of the things that they get in the previous levels. It's just structured differently. Commonly misspelled and misused words. Grammar, punctuation, and usage. Now there's a lot more than one page in each of these things. I'm just kind of flipping through and giving you guys examples. And there's a lot of different diagramming in there and a lot of different examples for all the different types of sentence diagramming. And then there are several sections on writing. This one is essay writing, abstract and descriptive writing. So there's a lot of different things they go through in this book. All things grammar and writing are right here. And it will prompt them when to do it. Now with every other level, The Good and the Beautiful has different flashcards. And these are the flashcards that come with the year one kit. There is geography. Okay, then they have poetry memorization cards. I really like this, especially for my son. This will work fantastic for him. So you have the poem on this side, and then on the other side, you've got the poem with some things missing. Here's another really cool one for year one your Greek and Latin roots. Year two, year three, and year four. Now this he's not excited about, <laughs> but he's gonna do it and I think it's great and I think it'll really help him with vocabulary and spelling and all the things. For science, now science is a big thing for Wyatt. For this year we're gonna do exploring creation, general science, 
with Apologia. I already had that textbook. I just had to buy the student notebook that goes along with it. There's a lot of concepts that he is already familiar with in here, but we haven't really gotten super deep into them. So we're gonna do that. And then there's a lot of new things in there. However, I am going to be teaching a biology dissection class for our co-op in the fall semester. This is something we've had planned for about a year now. And I really think it would work really well if we did that while we were doing biology, but this is just kind of how it worked out. So what I'm gonna do is do a unit study so that everything will make sense when he's doing that dissection course. For history this year, we are going to do American history. This was probably my hardest thing to pick. I really love the good and the beautiful, but they didn't have all the choices yet. They're coming, but not quite yet. So I decided on doing Master Books, American History. So this American History book covers natives of the new world all the way down to the war on terrorism and contemporary issues. Contemporary issues. So I looked that up. And that is things like euthanasia, abortion, Christianity and hip hop, the future of homeschooling, racial reconciliation, a lot of things that are going to make for really good conversation and some good character building opportunities. This is gonna be fun to go through. Probably hard also, but really good. So now we're gonna get into electives that we're gonna do for high school. One of the things I really wanted to do, we haven't done a whole lot in in previous years, was work on computer skills. Just navigating computers, being able to problem solve anything, operating different programs like Word and through the internet, and improving typing skills. Now this is from The Good and the Beautiful. This is something that I got, it was super cheap. I will put the price and the link for this and everything else I've talked about today down below in the description box, but this was super cheap. I can use it with multiple children. Um, this year I'm gonna have Wyatt do it as well as my third grader. So, I mean, it's typing one, it's super easy, and it's something I can fit in just here and there, probably when we have slower days. He will also be studying music. Wyatt has an express an interest in learning the guitar. Now, in our homeschool, we don't require our children to learn an instrument, but if they express an interest in learning one, we absolutely support that. So he will be learning guitar. We have a guitar, an acoustic guitar here at our home. There's also someone at our church that plays guitar and she gave me a great chord sheet and told me what to focus on first so that we're gonna do that with him. And there's also some YouTube channels that I've come across that we're gonna work on there. If we get to the point through that that we still have an interest and wanna to continue to learn, we might look at lessons down the road. Now art is another elective, but it is included in the Good and the Beautiful's Language Art course. We are gonna be doing a little bit more because Wyatt really likes comics and likes drawing them and creating them. So I am going to be doing some different drawing courses on YouTube and I've got a couple books that he's gonna be working out of just picking through what he wants to work with. For foreign language this year, we are going to continue working in ASL. American Sign Language is something that we start with our kids at infancy, just working to build those communication skills. And it's something that we want our kids to be fluent in so that they can use it personally in their life or professionally. We do not have a formal ASL curriculum, but what we use is either Bill Vickers on YouTube or his website is LifePrint. And I will leave the links down there for you guys to check them out if you're interested. So that is it for my ninth grade curriculum choices for our 2019-2020 school year. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like if you did, if you haven't yet subscribed, I wanna invite you to do so. And hit that little notification bell so you can stay up to date on all the videos I put out. Don't forget to keep an eye out this week for the other two videos coming Wednesday and Friday, all about homeschooling through high school. We'll see you guys in the next video, bye.